Let's Play! Hello there everyone, and welcome to a one-off episode for that little game right there in the middle, Tadpole Treble, which is a game that I did back on their Kickstarter, although I was a late backer, I ended up not doing the, the Kickstarter itself, but rather I backed it through their Slacker Backer campaign, because it was just something where I didn't have the money at the time. Um, and this is, I think, the first Wii U Kickstarter game that I've received. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's hop in, and it's, uh, I've been very excited for this game, because I'm a huge fan of a little webcomic that is no longer around, except sort of spiritually it kind of is, but we'll get to that, uh, called Brawl in the Family, made by, uh, Matthew Toronto, as I'm pretty sure I pronounce his name, I could be incredibly wrong, um, but he and his brother decided to form Bitfinity here, and make their own game called Tadpole Treble. Which is a music rhythm game, kind of? We'll see here. Let's hop in. Um, very colorful, very nice. It's all hand-drawn stuff. It's asking for my name. Well, let me put in my name right here. My name is Tanner. There we go. Oh, what a good loading screen! That's a good loading screen. Um, so you can sort of tell it's very much, um inspired by I, I I think personally a bit of like the Super Mario RPG tadpole stuff but otherwise it's I just there's no other game that looks and sounds like this you know like it's cool what's an extras nothing for me for now oh very 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 good menu good menu so there is a full composition mode where you can just straight up um, create your own stages um, you share the song other players will be able to edit it and um, not accountable for any songs created, you are. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, but there's a full mode where you get to make your own stages, make your own music. It's very cool. But let's hop in for the adventure mode, where the, where the bulk of this game lies. Well, I mean, not really. I guess the, the other side is totally infinite. Um, the music's very good. Uh, they've been uploading previews onto their YouTube channel, and it's just, it's really good. Tadpole Pond, which is the first level. You can do a child break out of that egg. So I'm mashing the, the, the A button. There we go. That's my girl. So we play as Baton, who is uh, a tadpole. And your whole purpose is to just avoid the, um, the mines, I guess they could kind of be. And, um, just get through, survive the songs. Now there's ways to get better, uh, better scores, but your, your main objective is just to, to, to get through, you know? So there is, there is more in terms of, you know, getting good at it, but your main goal is to just survive, like that, okay, that, the way you do half steps is actually kind of, kind of not as intuitive as I would have thought. That's a crocodile. Oh, that's cool. So, um, as you see, you're on a music scale, uh, so, you know, you gotta... Oh, this is, this is tough to talk over. I mean, obviously, but... Oh, I, do I not want to hit them? Okay. Don't hit your friends. Pro tip. Uh, a little bit of DDD's drum dash with the, with the clap system. Which actually is, is a really good music rhythm game, so I'm happy they put that in. I didn't hit that one there. But all the music is uh, original for- I'm missing those. It's all original for this, and it's really good, as I said. Um, and just, like, the fact that it's all, like, hand-drawn art and stuff, that's, like, that- that gets my 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 happiness rating up. Because, you know, like, you, you don't see that much in games anymore, you know? It's more about the, uh... The fancy HD graphics, and it feels like the the uh, hand drawn stuff is pretty much limited to indies now, which sucks. Ooh, it's a it's. I can definitely see this having a high learning curve with how the um. Ooh, okay, ow. The way it's done in the half steps, like you know, like like a musical scale, actually makes it quite a bit harder to sort of see where you're going, which is good. I'm happy there's challenge here. 
I was actually worried it'd be too easy. Then again, I'm not super musically inclined, so, you know. Ow, that hurt. But it's okay, I got health. Oh, we're going too far. We can't stop now. We, we actually cannot. Uh-oh. There's that scare cord. <gasps> There's a bird. Huh, it says Finn. Oh, I missed it. Oh no! It's the plot of Finding Nemo, but we got a B rank, so I'm 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 happy with that. B B is fine, cause they say C's get degrees, but in reality, D's get degrees. Got little comic panels. He has a very like recognizable style. Uh, if you haven't read Brawl in the Family. I, I implore you to go read it online. I actually have them uh, physically, like all three volumes of it in physical book form, and it's, I love it. I'm gonna give them to my kids. They're just such, just good, clean, like, but Smash bros -y fun. Like, it's great. Um, and thankfully, he does still do comics for Nintendo Force, which is like a Nintendo Power successor, featuring some of the people who worked on Nintendo Power um, in, in, you know, magazine form. And even though you know, the news you get is always outdated and stuff. It's cool that you can still get that uh, that experience, you know, of, of reading the reading the magazines and stuff. And uh, I, I still do it just for the fact that his comics are in there. So, select a stage and help Baton get home. Well, we can't go back, actually. We have to go to the next stage here. So, uh... Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here that I don't even recognize. Very Donkey Kong Country with, with this part, at least. So we're gonna do this stage, I guess. So this won't be a full let's play. This is just gonna be a one-off and I'll see how far I wanna get and keep going. All right. Trout Tributuary. Very, uh, I don't know what you'd call this. Seems a little Western. Reminds me of that one part of uh, Disneyland where it's all about the uh, cowboys and stuff. I never liked that place because I live in Alberta where we actually have cowboys. And man, when you actually have cowboys, anything that's cowboy based becomes a lot less cool. Okay, it's weird when you hit them because it looks like you should be able to go... Like, I, I go down but my score goes up and it's just a little confusing with seeing where... Wow, okay, that was kind of cool. Oh, I want to go. Oh, it says up for food, down for cash. Well, I definitely want the cash. Well, there's the the trout of the tributary. I think they said that there's a lot of musical references to other games. I could be wrong about that. I wanted that help though. Oh, jeez. Well, this this adds definitely an obstacle. I don't think you can use these dudes in the crater mode, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's matched with the piano. That's so good. Oh, I just noticed it is the notes. That's pretty cool. Cause I know, I know when you're actually making the songs and stuff, uh, you like you place the obstacles, and that's where the notes are. So that's pretty cool. Weird that the control stick doesn't work. Like, I can't use the control stick, it's only the control pad. Mind you, that's not a bad thing, because I definitely prefer the control pad. Ooh, bit, bit of the, uh, the cowboy whistle. The McCree whistle. Can you go forward and back? No. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Oh, that, that pan flute reminds me of the, the Nintendo 60, uh, Nintendo 64. I love the Nintendo 64's pan flute. Ooh, I went really far down, and I saw a creeper down there. Not like the Minecraft creeper, but something creepy. All right. There's a good sense of adventure to this song, which I really enjoy. There we go. Very nice, we got an A rank. And if I recall, there's A rank, and then there's also a... Like, you want to get as many A ranks as you can, but there's also a thing for getting the least score that you can. 
Yeah, so you want to get both the high score and the low score, you know? So, like, we got... We got the, you can see your top scores, but then you can also get the low scores. So, so you want, so if you see there, the medals that you can get are for completing it, for getting the challenge fly, for getting 100 bubbles, for getting an S rank, and for getting an F rank. So, not losing the stage, but getting as low a score as you can. And, um, Beautiful Joe also had that as a prerequisite, where you had to get for, um, getting on some of the stages, you had to fail them. Like, get near fails to get some rewards and stuff, and that's a cool thing. We got turtle pipes now. Let's get them turtles in them pipes. I bet you there's going to be some type of Mario reference. Now, I do know that there is an entire chiptune pond where all the music is chiptune, which is really cool. But let's hop in and see how this goes. The fact that the loading screen pauses is a little confusing. I think that's actually something I don't want you to do when making games. Okay, so far this song sounds like Final Fantasy in the, 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 uh, instrument. So I wonder what, what, the, oh, the little, the little ones there are like the, um, the, the holds are like the, the ones that are like the, uh, the fuzzy ones, you know? Okay, so let's try and go down. Oh, this is getting difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm actually surprised at how much out-of-water stuff there is. That's cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the, the half-note system is definitely a little confusing with how, um... I bet you... If, I wonder if it's instant death if you... I don't think there's any death in this. I feel like this is too kid-friendly for there to be instant death Um... If you get chomped by him, I wonder... Uh, very, very much a reference to Mario with the turtles and the pipes. I mean, you have to have those. It's you're you're playing a Mario thing, you know. It's you, you legally have to have it. So I think there is, yeah. So I did I did the the charge, which I have a meter for that, and by using that, I can be invincible for a little bit. Um, so that's that's a neat system that I think you don't need to use to be good, you know. Actually, I wonder how far his hitbox is, like, if, if I will be too close to him at one point, or if he's just, like, just, oh, ow, just where he bites, I don't know. Turtles, the way they snap is actually really terrifying. I need to deal up to get that one. There's, there's all these things have, like, totally optimal routes and stuff. Oh, I missed that one. Alrighty. I got, at least I got an A rank. I'm happy with that, I got the challenge fly. I'm surprised it doesn't say, maybe you have to beat the stage and then the challenge fly will tell you? We'll see here, we'll, we'll go back one. So if we go back, uh, there's gold in them, there are hills, jump for joy, okay, so yeah, so you have to beat it once and you tell it, oh, here we go, Chiptune Lagoon, this is the one I was talking about. Play them Chiptunes, all that good stuff, you know? Let's hear how it is. I love me some Chiptunes. Aw, oh, there it is, look at this! This is the good stuff. Oh, this looks so good, actually! I love this. I think you can also get a skin to play like this always. Like, I know for at least Baton, but maybe in levels too, I don't know. Ow. That's tough. Like, okay, the hand-drawn art is lovely, but I really love this too. Call me a nostalgia fanboy, but man, there's something wonderful about these graphics. You know, sprites always hold up. Oh, listen to that, that retro drum and bass. That's the good stuff. I missed it. It's getting a little tougher and tougher to get him. Okay, so we're gonna go up, down, oh. Yeah, this is one that's gonna be pretty difficult to to do well at, I feel. To to get to get all those high scores, you know. I was really hoping we'd hit the duck. I bet you we could have I didn't, but I bet you we could have hit the duck in the air and it would have done a continuation. I bet you. So this game can also be played entirely on the um the gamepad if you want. 
Oh yeah, I hit it. Oh, there we go. Look at us, we're underwater. There's your Mario reference. Gotta have him, man. It's it's. What what, what what do you think this is? Some some type of PlayStation system? I really feel like if you're gonna reference, uh, you know, reference a game, have it be the one that like the system you're on, which, you know, they do do. Ah, that was a little tough, actually. Very cool. Oh man, there's the spotlight in the guitar. Gate is no longer chiptune, but I'll take it. Ooh, I actually gotta concentrate here a bit. I like the ducks, they're very, very duck hunty. God, it's th my favorite story on the internet. Like, well, not my favorite, but one of them is hearing how Xander Mobis, the announcer for um, Super Smash Bros. 4, had to- oh, you turn into a, a Sonic thing when you do it, that's cool. Um, he had to make sure he would say, Duck Hunt, and not anything else, because it was too close to being something bad. So he would always have to make sure to enunciate and hearing the stories of how he would- how he, if he mispronounced it, he would probably get in trouble. That wouldn't be good. You know, let's- let's at least keep- let's do some more stages, why not? I'm really enjoying this, so, we're at the Midnight Bayou. I love midnight stages, and bayous are cool too. I'm down for a bayou. Bayou. John Madden. Football. Aw oh, yeah, I hope there's a saxophone. Okay, this is good enough. There's a sax. Oh, it has lyrics. So some of you might know, uh, the Matthew Toronto, he was the voice of Phoenix Wright in the I Don't Think It Ever Came Out, but Phoenix Wright the Musical, or Ace Attorney the Musical, so that was always cool. I like his singing voice, I've heard some people say, like, it's, it's not good, but the fact that it's not perfect actually gives it a lot more charm in my eyes, you know? Whoops, I missed it. It's actually super beautiful, man. I love it. There's a craw, Dad. Oh, he went in time with the music. I love this so much. So this guy's actually like the rival, which is kind of funny. I mean, for obvious reasons. It's not necessarily a Virgil, more of a Jean, you know. Oh, look at the symbolism down there. The fact that you have to then also hit the notes when you're in the air is, is really great. Oh, that's an axolotl! Oh, that's tough. Oh, man. Y you can't slack, and that's the thing. It's like, there there's times that I'm playing and I'm like, oh, this I'm enjoying this, and then I realize, oh, right, there's a game. Whoa, you had, you had to make sure to avoid him there. Don't touch. Ow. That's good, we, we've come to agree with that. I will.
Like, yeah, he's kind of a creepy character, but I actually really love that song. It's really good. Oh, man! That gave me good warm feelings inside. That's great. That's the good stuff. That's what I love about it. I mean, the fact that you know it's an indie game always helps, because then you sort of... It feels a lot more warmer and closer to home, you know? Oh, no! Not a finch! Or whatever. I don't know what it's called. See, I, I, I remember this Toad from uh, the pre-release stuff. I think he has some pretty funny stuff to say if we click on him a couple times, which we will totally do. Yeah, he's like the Cranky Kong. It's great. Bullfrog Grove. Stop by Etude's Pad in the Bullfrog Grove? Yeah, let's do it. So. Rup. Thank you for distracting that snack for me. In return, I offer this piece of advice, Rup. Be sure to watch your back. Or you just may be eaten. You'd be most wise to remember the the you remember this in the dangerous grotto you are currently heading to. Barracuda Caverns. The beast that dwells in there is an aggressive foe, but his eyes are quite sensitive to light. If you can find a way to brighten his day, you might just pull through. Since you're here, perhaps you would be obliged to help me out. You see, I desire bubbles. I know you have some on you. I recognize that sweet cherry scent anywhere, Rup. If you gave me bubbles, I'll give you some nice rewards. It is not mandatory. Think of it as a sort of quest on the side. A side quest, if you will. Although I can make my own bubbles, they do not last long and they do not smell of cherries, Rup. So please keep a mental image of my pleading eyes in your tadpole brain as you collect these bubbles, Rup. Well, bubbles and challenge flies. Okay, well, let's see. What can we buy? Um, cool. 449. So we get the Beast Cherry, the Music Player, and the Beast Cherry 2. I'm happy there's a Best Cherry. Suppose you're wondering what challenge flies are. They're quite rare indeed. Each cherry in the land only has one. To capture them, you must perform certain feats to draw them out. For instance, one might come out if you hit all the bamboo in an area. If you're having difficulty succeeding, do not neglect your treble charge meter. That's right, I always neglect it. Once it's filled, simply hold your attack to charge your tail. You'll uh, temporarily enter treble mode, which you can break through rocks without taking damage. In exchange for this, I expect a meager reward. Please bring me any challenge flies you find. I'll be sure to give them a good home. Rup. By the way, I've been charging these creatures when they appear as well. You might consider sharing the chart with you if you bring me enough bubbles. Okay. Okay, well, we got them, but we're gonna... Let's see here. We did that one. Oh, no! We're in the loop! Also, I just noticed it's like the Final Fantasy, uh... Final Fantasy, um, text bar. You're quite the traveler, young one. Myself, I don't prefer it. In fact, it's been quite a while since I've moved from this spot. Uh, the ivy on my back is probably something to do with that, come to think of it. Ever had a brawl in the family? One started a few years ago at my froggy family reunion where my cousin Kermie tried to eat me. Not sure why I thought it was so amusing. I didn't hear anyone laughing. I'm gonna get you, Kermie. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It was my birthday the other day. My squirrel friend jovially remarked that she would- she hoped that due to my age, I would not croak soon. I find that term offensive. My uncle croaked himself to death. It was not a pleasant sight. Uh, do not feel obliged to visit me if you don't feel like it. Believe it or not, I get dozens of visitors a day, all offering bubbles in exchange for prizes. Although you're the only one who actually chats with me. Hmm. Rup. Those notes are a menace. Whenever I take a swim, it's a non-stop barrage on my belly. We really need some deeper waters. Uh, if you came here via the mountain river, perhaps you visited Turtle Pipes? Well, the turtle there is a friend of mine. Now there's a chap who can eat. I apologize on his behalf, he took a snap at you. But a lot of food flows through those pipes. A lot of food flows through his pipes for that matter, if you fired in the expression. The writing is on point. I don't think these spots on my forearms were there yesterday. It seems possible I'm dealing with some kind of, of some sort of fungal infection. If past occurrences are any indication, they may dry up, fall off, and then get eaten by me. We should chat more, it's nice. <laughs> I was born here in the bayou, but I remember visiting Tadpole Pond when I was younger. The excess of food there provided a pleasant surprise, although it was too sunny and cheerful for my tastes. If you're heading towards Tadpole Pond, you're gonna eventually pass through Thunder Creek. The route is quite a trying one. Best of luck at getting through and bringing me some of its valuable bubbles. Catchy song, though. An enjoyable swan song one hears while being cradled in the end relentless embrace of death. Oh, the writing is so good. Oh, I love it. I think we'll do 
one more level. And we'll see here. Uh, Beast Cherry 1 is unlocked. Cool. Music player is now unlocked. Well, how do we get the best cherry then? It's probably in the extras. Um, you unlocked an attuned reward. Beast Cherry 2 is unlocked. Again, I would love to see. But I don't know where that is. Oh well, let's get started. Where are we at now? I didn't even see the level name. Probably would have been probably would have been good to see. Alright, Barracuda Caverns. Ooh, very Resident Evil so far. Oh, there he is. Spooky. I should be paying more attention. Oh, that's creepy. Actually, one thing I will say about Brawl in the Family, there's uh, a couple, um... My life meter's not doing too good. There's a couple sequences in Brawl in the Family that are actually kind of creepy. Um, there's this one arc where they reimagine Kirby as a, a all-eating, like, blob monster that's absorbing inhabitants of Dreamland. Uh, and it's genuinely frightening, you know? Like, it's... It's not, it's not, they, there was a warning on it to, that it's not probably the best for kids, so, you know when, when something as family friendly as Brawl in the Family has that, that you're in for a wild ride. It's a very nice piano piece. What does it remind me of? Actually a bit of Zelda, you know, so, the light flashes, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of. That's okay. Yeah, no, I, actually I'm not a fan of that on my eyes. I think... Oh, I'm, I'm actually sort of dying. Ow! One more hit and I'm doomed. Gotta find some health packs. Need a dispenser here. Oh, that was creepy, actually. Oh, I don't like this. She very much reminds me of, a uh, Endless Ocean here. God, I can't wait to not play that game because I'm ter- Oh! Wow, game over. That was quick. That was actually... That got difficult. That got tough because of how, like, avoiding him was a genuine, like, challenge with not knowing where he was. So this time I'll be a little more careful. Also, definitely try and charge my treble meter a bit more. I received a friend request on PlayStation. Why did I look at my phone and miss all those notes? Oh, that's tough getting those. Maybe I should just try and survive instead for now, you know? I am looking forward to playing some fan-made levels through the, um, the composition mode. Because a lot of it is, um, you know, a lot, a lot of songs from other games and stuff. And it's cool, and you share it via QR codes. I think they tried to get Miiverse to work, but it just, it just wasn't a thing that they could get done. Which is understandable for some indie devs, you know, like, you'd be surprised at how tough video games are to make, my friends. You know? It's one of those things where it's like, you probably think it's just gonna be this easy thing, but it's, it's not. Game making is not an easy task. You, nor, you will like, you know, you, you have a problem. And where you should normally, you know, just... People would just be like, why don't you just do this? And I hate that when people are just like, why don't they just do this? If you don't know about video games and, and, and your advice is, why don't you just do this for a game developer? Chances are, they've tried that and it didn't work, you know? So it's like, don't don't give that whole, why don't you try this shtick. If, 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 if you don't know about games and stuff, you know? I'm sure you, you, you probably have the best intentions... But it's not the best idea to, to, to talk to game devs and be like, you know, why don't you just do this? It's, I mean, maybe they'll accept the advice, but there's a chance they won't. So I'm definitely gonna just stay up here. There we go. Give me that health, though. Let's see. It's, you know, a little bit creepy. Not scary, but... I wanted to get that note, because that note down there is, I think, a, uh, actually like a secret. Oh, that trumpet, though. That's a good trumpet. Oh, it actually surprises him. That's good to know. Oh, that trumpet! That's a good trumpet, man. 
It's also, you, you also sometimes forget that you can go up, you know? Oh, oh now it's like a sea shanty! That's so good! My favorite thing is when lyrics just come into songs. It's like, it's so good. That was so good. I got a C rank, but you know what? I I loved that so much. Got it, like I got into it. I'm kind of sad it didn't go further, but a scene viewer is now unlocked, nice. Oh, so I guess you don't need to get the, um, you don't need to get the, um, the go back to him and give him the rewards and stuff. You can just sort of see, that's good. So let's go to this, let's go to extras. Do we have the best, yeah, here it is. Let's see here, best Jerry. What do we got here? Ooh, it's loading quite a bit. The main theme is very nice. Um, I think it does get lyrics later too, which is nice. Um... Oh, that's so cool! You can actually, like, see the, uh... The full, like, friendly frogs. Let's see, so it was Sonata was the other guy. Um, very confident. He's a bit forward, but he's not a bad guy. Weakness is musically inclined girls. Tadpoles, Etude, Timber, the father. We haven't seen him yet. Melody. We got page two, which is local wildlife. Bees, butterflies, trouts, the bear. The ducks. Uh, they come in 8-bit variety in Chiptune Lagoon, which has a particular way of changing the way everything looks. If duck is born there, it comes out all p in a pixelated blocky egg. I hear those are pain <laughs> particularly painful to lay. <laughs> Strengths. Look, what do you want from me? It's a duck. It has duck-like abilities. Easily snuffed, sniffed out by chuckling hounds. That's the good stuff. Weakness is Mardi Gras. Weakness. I'm not brave enough to find out. Uh, to bigger fish, to bigger creatures, it's basically a defenseless meat torpedo oh my god the writing oh the writing makes me so happy weaknesses poisoning, lightning fire anything with a mouth bigger than her uh, has difficulty keeping thousands of children safe not big enough to um, swallow a pelican hole uh, always hungry large and in charge only needs to eat when hungry uh, strengths musically inclined weakness musically inclined girls uh, strengths not too many bless their hearts <laughs> nature's equivalent of a matzo ball very snackable god the writing this game makes me laugh um i'm i'm very happy about that i for that alone it's worth my purchase because i haven't stopped smiling since um if you guys want to see more tadpole treble leave a comment maybe i'll do it i'll probably play it on my own though i don't know we'll see it depends uh this this will be going up like tomorrow so we'll we'll uh, we'll see We'll see as it goes. This game makes me smile, though, and that's good. I I'm very happy I paid for joy in my life. That's what video games are. Thank you for watching, dudes. We'll see you next time. Ciao.